Welcome to the Ant-Man channel on this Tuesday, 5th of February, 2013. <clears throat> yeah, if you notice that it looked like my hair is like all wet or whatever, it's because I had just worked out and hit the shower. So, um, <clears throat> you know, I'm just getting on this news real quick. It, I just got this and I thought I'd, you know, I saved it on my computer while I was gone because I wanted to read it. Because uh, this is quite serious, you know. Uh, <clears throat> Sorry if I sound a little bit like Kermit. Uh, <laughs> my, my voice is a little dry. Let me get some water real quick. Alright, I'm back. Ha <laughs> ha. WND under the call of faith. WND exclusive. Boy Scout leader charged with sodomizing Scout. Organize, organization faces vote on policy for homosexuals. The former Boy Scout leader has been charged with sodomizing a boy in his troop who was under the age of 13. News of the indictment Monday by a grand jury in Charlottesville, uh, Virginia, comes as the Boy uh, Scouts of America faces a vote tomorrow by its executive board that could reverse the iconic organization's century-old policy of barring homosexuals from its ranks. I mean, first of all... <clears throat> And they have a picture of the guy right here. I'm not going to show it, but you can go look at it yourself under Boy Scout Leader Charge of Sodomizing Scout under WND.com. Um, first of all, if there was a rule placed there in the first place, it was probably intended. It was probably in, intended to be there in the first place. I think back in the day when they first put that law or that, uh, yeah, that, um, that policy, uh, they were very aware at the time that someone who came in and, you know, that was like that, I'm going to say like that, okay, I'm just going to say homosexual, they would know very well, like, this person, you know, come on, uh, if you want to be homosexual, that's your, that's, uh, your, that's your business, but, uh, to put it out there into the, uh, culture, into the, uh, you know, into the minds of little kids and stuff is, is wrong, um, uh, you know, with all this, like, uh, gay stuff being genetic, I, I don't buy it, I just don't, I don't buy it, um, <clears throat> I think everybody has a fair chance at being, a, at being, <laughs> choosing for themselves with gender pre preferences they have. But um, <clears throat> but one thing's for sure is that some people might have developed more estrogen than testosterone. I don't know how your body works. I know that uh, I'm grateful to have my body working just fine. I make a lot of testosterone. My body produces a lot of testosterone, I guess. But it's cool. Um, David Watkins, 49, was arrested November 28 in Charles, Virginia, where he works as CEO of Watkins Computer Services. Watkins founded Keswick Troop 1028 in 2002 and was its scoutmaster until 2008. <clears throat> the abuse took place in 2005, according to court documents, but the victim, now an adult, waited several years before coming forward, reported WHSV TV in Harrisburg, Virginia. There's even a Channel 19 CBS video here of the report. The BSA's National Executive Board is expected to vote tomorrow on a proposal that would allow local scouting organizations to form their own membership rules regarding homosexuals. WND reported yesterday that many scout leaders from the national organizations to troop level have said they will resign if the proposal passes. I mean, um, <clears throat> then where are all the good people at, you know? I mean, why don't you stay and fight? As WND reported last week, a major drop in corporate funding came last September after a gay rights blogger for the Huffington Post published a co collaborative report that named the, don the donors and chastised them for violating their own policy of not discriminating on the basis of sexual orientation. Uh, you can go to this, and I really uh, encourage you to, to go and um, sign this petition. This petition is to keep the Boy Scouts moral, and this is a big issue. This has a lot to do with, um, okay, <clears throat> for example, remember when women used to be conservative? Remember when women used to not cop out and say, you know, uh, just do your own thing and whatever? Well, that's kind of like what would happen to children if this happens, is that they're going to, like, start, you know, little kids these days. I don't even, I don't even talk about this ever, but this is just a fact. When I was a little kid, I didn't even have any style, because the, the way that they made clothes at, at the time when I was a little kid wasn't very, it wasn't very hip. But nowadays, you can make your children look very hip. I mean, I've seen, 
and and then trust me, man. I'm not saying this in a perverted way, and don't ever don't ever take me for that type of person. But I, I, the way little girls dress nowadays is a perfect example of the direction that that might go in if you let uh, pretty much <clears throat> Boy Scout leaders uh, or these guys that are at the head of it be homosexual and say one of them wants to be uh, Sandusky, and uh, you know, pretty much that's going to turn into a a weird little thing, man, and, and, and trust me, in time, that thing will turn into a big issue, and, um, that's just one more step toward you got you guys the wrong way, the wrong way, dude, we're trying to go the right way, I don't know what this way is, but it, it doesn't, it doesn't match up to what I believe in morally and ethically, and these things that, that I believe in, I, I think, and I'm convicted of, that these things are the only way to have the, the society prosper, is to have moral value, and to have ethics intact, because if you don't, then everything collapses, and you see what happens when the government gets very big, and the corporations have all the say, you know what I mean, it's a, it's a nightmare now, it is an absolute nightmare, like, you can't get anything done anymore, uh, at a November 28 press conference announcing the arrest of Watkins, um, uh, Aber, <coughs> Abelmarle County, hope I said that right, police, said they believe that could be other victims. We have received multiple phone calls on the tip line, and now we're looking into those calls and information provided in Char Carter Johnson, the public information officer to Al um, Albemarle County Police Department. The alleged victim under age 13 at the time was the assault, but not an adult. Came forward the day before Thanksgiving, police said, according to Seville.com, a Charlottesville, uh, Charlottesville, excuse me, Charlottesville News website. The TSA Stonewall Jackson Area uh, Council released a pre uh, prepared statement after the arrest. The abuse of anyone, especially a child, is intolerable, and our thoughts and prayers go out to anyone who may be a victim of this type of behavior. The statement said the behavior included in these allegations runs counter to everything for which the Boy Scouts of America stands. Yeah, and you guys, if you want to let your children, like your young, your young men, your, your little boys out there, in, in the hands of a pervert, that has the potential to do something to them that they can be absolutely traumatized for in their entire life. I mean, if that happened to me, you guys, I would, I would totally remember it for the rest of my life. I probably would be, wouldn't be who I am. I don't know. Who knows? That, that, that thing, those kind of things, they do affect people. I mean, uh, <clears throat> I mean, getting you know molested is not, a, is not an easy thing to get by. But the abuse of anyone, especially a child, is intolerable. Absolutely. Seville.com reported the council permanently suspended Watkins from scouting in June because of allegations of inappropriate behavior outside of the scouting program. Charlesville Police Department didn't find enough evidence to arrest Watkins, but BSA added Watkins to its inalegible volunteer files and banned him from the organization. In 2010, a former Boy Scout in Portland, Oregon, was awarded $18.5 million dollars by a jury, dang, that's a lot of money, right, by a jury 30 years after he claimed he was abused by an assistant scoutmaster, um, I mean, that's out, that's out of a creepsville, uh, I don't even know, man, but that is just absolute creepsville, in 2010, there you go, uh, Timur Dykes confessed to a bishop from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints that he has had molested Lewis and 16 other scouts, including Lewis. Dykes later was convicted and spent time in prison. Attorneys for Lewis attorneys uh, charged the Boy Scouts organization with recklessness for allowing Dykes to continue working with young scouts. Kelly Clark, the attorney who represented Lewis and 22 other accusers, released October on the internet secret records kept by the scouts dubbed the perversion files. More than 14,000 pages of allegations over 20 years ranged from indecent exposure to suspicion suspected immoral relations with juveniles. More than 1,200 leaders and volunteers were named in the files and most were expelled after their placement in an illegible volunteer list. Others slipped back in. However, Clark said at an October press conference announcing the release of the files on his website, the problem wasn't that the scouts weren't trying to keep the bad guys out. They were, Clark said. But you can't just keep a list. At some point, you have an obligation to read what's going on and say what we're doing isn't working. Steve Elwert, a 30-year-old veteran of scouting who once served as an area overseer of the Youth Protection Program in the Scouts Southern Region, told WND the organization, in response to abuse, has developed a model system to protect scouts. Leaders, for example, are no longer allowed to meet alone with a scout. Uh, for that reason, 
Unlike many, his primary concern is not that pedophiles with, uh, will infiltrate, infil infiltrate, excuse me, pedophiles will infiltrate the organization if, if the policy is chart, uh, changed. I mean, <clears throat> calling that issue a red herring, his concern is more fundamental. Homosexuality is not a value. I want to see imparted on my children, he said. And a lot of parents feel the same way, that homosexual homosexuality is not okay. Um... Absolutely, I mean, this is almost like a gun control debate. Like, why are we debating this? Why isn't people who know the truth standing up and saying no? Um, where have our values gone? I mean, the, you really see what, how bad the elites are when you see stuff like this, because the elites is the reason why this stuff happens. Because at the top, these, these Republicans aren't saying anything to the Democrat fake liberals that are taking our country to a hellhole. They're not saying anything to them because they, uh, the corporations have, you know, pretty much um, bought them. They have bought them into silencing them, into, you know, saying here's some money so you could shut the hell up and you don't have an opinion now because I just paid you this, this much money. So this is probably what's going on at the top. It's absolute corruption. It's bribing to get, uh, to turn, I, I mean, at this point, if you don't think that there are people within the powers that be that are trying to have an agenda to try to bring this country down, you need to think again, because this wouldn't be happening if people cared about their country, because obviously Barack Obama does not care about our country. He wants to see it go down more, he's morally bankrupting us as well as financially bankrupting us, and, um, and then you've got all these people who watch Fox News and CBS News who who are getting used to be absolute zombies and go against people who like the truth. Well, you guys don't know what's going on. You guys are just being told by a teleprompter reader who is like a robot practically, making, I don't know, 16 million a year, and who doesn't get paid to give his opinion. He just get, he gets paid to read a teleprompter and do it, and follow orders and shut his mouth. That's what he gets paid for. But, um, <clears throat> but you know, when I go to some certain people's houses, and like, like last year during the election, I went to someone's house, I'm not going to name them, but, and, and I told them, you know, I wasn't going for Barack Obama, and, and then they told me, like, oh, you must want da-da-da-da, and they, I don't know, they started calling me a terrorist, because I didn't want Obama to win. They were like, oh, so you must want terrorists to come into this country and murder us or something, and I was like, do you understand how detached from reality you are? Like, I mean, where do you even get this nonsense from? I mean, that's the kind of stuff that goes through my head when people say stuff like that, because it's like, I can't really say anything. They, they're, they're laughing. Like, they think it's a joke. They think it's like, like a football game. Like, oh, Democrats won. You're just mad. That kind of stuff is real. Like, people do think like that. Like, politics is a video game, and, like, it's a joke. But, um, and, and, and that's how it is at the top, in, in the House and in, and in uh, the Congress and all that. The Republicans and Democrats do not work together anymore. And I remember a saying in this country about, to, uh, united we stand, divided we fall. Uh... When's the last time you've ever heard the government ever put that out? I mean, obviously, they don't want you to stand together um, because this is all planned to fall apart. <clears throat>